Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, horror, um, it's that time of the month again where I unbox the latest Abominable Book Club subscription box. So if you don't know, Abominable are a UK-based company um, who do a monthly subscription box, a horror-themed one. Um, so this box will have inside it um, two new books, um, one pre-owned, kind of pre-loved mystery book, um, and some snacks and, and badges and stuff like that. Um, there's two versions of the box available, kind of two tiers. So I go for the Full Guts box, which has all the extra stuff. There's also a Bare Bones box, uh, which just has the books. Um, so without further ado, uh, let me get into it. I'll leave a link um, to Abominable's website in the description for the video so that you can uh, you can click on that if you're interested. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way at all. I'm just a subscriber. Uh, just enjoy what they do um, and enjoy opening the box uh, for you every month as well. Right, let's get this box open and see what we have. Um, so no idea what the books are this month. Um, no, sometimes I have an inkling, but, but this month no clue at all. Um, so let's see what's inside. So we've got the mystery book here, which is beautifully wrapped as always. This feels very small. It feels smaller than a normal mass market paperback. So I'm intrigued to see what that is. Let's put that aside. I will open that in a minute. Um, so this is the first of the books, Old Country. So I've not heard of this at all um, or heard of the author. So Matt Query and Harrison Query. I'm not sure if they're brothers, perhaps. Um, it's quite interesting. It's got some really good reviews. Um, so it appears to be a kind of American folk horror um, type thing. So do let me know if you've heard of this. As I say, I've not heard of it at all, but looks interesting. Um, next up, this also looks kind of folk horror y. Um, that's a fantastic cover, isn't it? The green on that cover really pops. That's really nice. So this is The Green Man of Eshwood Hall by Jacob Kerr. Um, which again sounds like an interesting uh, kind of folk horror type thing. Oh, lovely end papers as well. This looks really good. Who's it from? Serpent's Tale. Yeah, so I, I really am very impressed by that cover. So yeah, we'll look forward to diving into to that one too. Um, let's see what the extras are then. So we've got a Scream... Um... Okay. I'm not sure what that is exactly, but some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Business card for someone called Morgan Masters. Um, we've got a creepy Easter Bunny sticker. Uh, one of the lovely Abominable Book Clubs, which have a piece of flash fiction on the back. Another bookmark with an alien theme. Oh, very good. Happy Easter. I like that. And this seems to be the main thing. That's rather cool. So they had a picture thing like this um, a few a few boxes ago as well. I can't remember what that one was. Ah, oh, okay. That's the... So it's obviously done by this person because it's got an MM there. So Morgan Masters is clearly the artist who's created this um, rather nice Halloween themed picture. And then snack-wise, it looks like we've got two eggs. Not heard of these ones. Can't quite read it, but it's... it's I can't read the brown, but it's Chucky Egg anyway. So something a bit like a, um, a Cabbage Cream Egg, I'm guessing. So those should be fun. Uh, and then... I think that's it. Yeah, and then the normal uh, kind of tea bags. So I'll quickly open up for you, just so I can make those annoying rustling sound. Let's see what we've got in here. So you normally get a pretty standard selection in here, but they are all very nice. So we've got a hot chocolate, a couple of herbal tea bags, a coffee bag, um, and a cappuccino. The cappuccinos are my favourite, even though they're kind of chemically nasty. Um, I do really, really enjoy them. 
So let's get this mystery book open. Uh, as you can see, it's slightly smaller. Here's a, a normal mass market size paperback for, for scale. So slightly smaller than normal. Um, what it definitely isn't, I think, is a Dean Coots or Peter James book. So those are the, the curse of the Abominable Book Club. Um, if you get one of those, you know you've drawn the short straw. Um, there are tons of those in, in charity shops in the UK, which I think is where Abominable source most of these mystery books from. There is an abundance, a glut of Dean Coots and Peter James books. Um, and as a result, they do quite often turn up in the Abominable boxes. Um, we have a bit of a running joke on my uh, on my Discord amongst those of us who subscribe to Abominable that, um, that that's the book you don't want to get as your mystery book. But this feels much too small to be a book from either of those authors. So let me unwrap it and see what it is. It feels, feels doubly mysterious because of its small size. It feels quite old and battered. Oh, okay. Oh, this is quite nice. So it's a, a vintage edition of Jekyll and Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, which I have read, um, but not for years. And it looks like it's got some other Stevenson stories in there as well. So it's also got um, The Bottle Imp, Mark Heim, and The Body Snatcher. Um, none of which I've read. So this is uh, this is rather charming. I'm not sure about that cover. I don't know if you can see that cover. It's not the best. It's not the best artwork I've ever seen. Um, but Jekyll and Hyde is a fantastic story, and this is rather a cute little vintage edition. Let's see when it when it was published. 1975. So it's an American edition from Scholastic Book Services in 1975. So yeah, that's quite fun. So two really interesting looking books this month. Looking forward to, to reading both of these, particularly this one, I think, just because of that fantastic cover. Look at the way that green shines in the light. Really, really wonderful stuff. Um, so yeah, a good month. These these feel quite appropriate, both being kind of folk horror -y, feel quite appropriate for springtime. Um, so yes, I'll see what I make of these and, and report back once I've read them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've read either of these books or other books by the authors. Let me know what they're like. Um, and if you are an Abominable subscriber, let me know what your mystery book was. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.